Hi, I'm Mayor Bill DeBozo, and I've taken time out of my busy schedule at the sauna to deliver you this worthy news story. So today I announce a new approach, which we're calling the Key to NYC Pass. The Key to New York City. When you hear those words, I want you to imagine the notion that because someone's vaccinated, they can do all the amazing things that are available in this city. This is a miraculous place, full, literally full of wonders. And if you're vaccinated, all that's gonna open up to you. You'll have the key, you can open the door. But if you're unvaccinated, unfortunately, you will not be able to participate in many things. That's the point we're trying to get across. It's time for people to see vaccination as literally necessary to living a good and full and healthy life. The key to NYC pass will be a first in the nation approach. It will require for workers and customers in indoor dining, in indoor fitness facilities, indoor entertainment facilities. This is going to be a requirement. The only way to patronize these establishments indoors will be if you're at least one dose. The same for folks in terms of work. They'll need at least one dose. Your papers, please. Mr. Nick Rivers. We have been awaiting the arrival of the famous American singer. Come here! What haven't he done? Where are they taking him? They are not taking him anywhere. So the living nightmare continues to unfold, eh boys? For so many reasons, I can't even list. We did speak about the government intentionally destroying small businesses some months ago, and this is way beyond that. But it's an important point because in order for the elite to control everyone, they have to force everyone to participate. If that means putting every single small business owner on the street, they would have done that yesterday. The hypocrisy should not need to be stated over and over again. You know, McDonald's stayed open throughout everything. Drive -thru, uh, some drive throughs if you guys notice, are cr they're still crazy. But gyms are closed. You can't work out. They don't care about your health. They care about their own power. And if you're weak, stupid, and sick, you're pretty easy to control. And that's how most people are. But my most important point in this video if people simply stopped listening to the government, the mainstream media, turned off their TVs, and did what they want, then these psychopaths in charge would have to put a little more effort into their crooked little plan. But if people continue to listen to the government willingly, you can bet that laws will go through Congress and we're all going to be screwed. Well, not screwed because I got plenty of better things to do, but the sheep will be screwed. So the message is about restaurants and gyms, but I, I do think most people understand the bigger picture. You know, this is the government telling you that you're going to need their approval for everything in your life. You know, how long until you can't buy groceries or drive a car in certain locations? And what they have done with this mandate is a huge step in their power grab. Granted, restaurants technically don't have to participate. They can ignore this mandate, but I'm assuming they'll be slapped with hefty fines and government ran organizations like the Department of Health, all of these governing bodies that restaurants need approval to operate in New York City will suddenly be inspecting them with multiple violations. United we stand, divided we fall, and if everyone stands up, they can't win. However, that hasn't been the case. People tend to choose the path of least resistance, even if it's not for their own good. Everyone in the club and the elites are going to private parties, having their own dinners cooked by Michelin star chefs, and they're getting their sailing shot to get their passport. It, it's, it's disgusting. Speaking of passports, it's funny how every single conspiracy theory comes true six months, one year later. And those people that were calling us crazy back then are now calling us crazy because we're opposing what the government's doing. It's almost like predictive programming and psychological warfare work. 
Combine that with divide and conquer tactics. They have us at each other's necks instead of throwing news reporters out of their glass skyscrapers. You know, these psychos will literally starve you to death. They've showed you their hand. Empty grocery store shelves, completely breaking down the supply chain, spraying chemicals in the air, whatever they have to do to create their chaos so they can intervene and save the day with their solution. You know what's funny to me? I see comments everywhere. When you leave New York, don't keep voting blue. <laughs> Hate to break it to you, buddy, but everything is fake, especially your politics and voting. The news is fake. The world map is fake. Our entire history we've been taught in school is fake. These degenerates in charge are playing by their own rules. They know the truth and they won't tell us, that's for sure. And be wary of online comments supporting these government agendas. They want to make you feel alone and isolated when in reality we are the silent majority that's being heavily censored and suppressed which is part of the reason they're trying so hard to break your spirit. Uh, so that's going to be it for today. Uh, I was trying to be pretty careful about what I've spoken about, but I don't think I've been careful enough. I guess we'll see how this goes. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, you can go to frank defilecom to support me, through all of my businesses. Hey, if one of you CIA freakazoids find some time out of the sauna, maybe send over some of those uh, Victoria's Secret girls uh, with my sailing shot because I would love to attend these New York City restaurants and clubs so that I can succumb to three dozen STDs from one hookup. Sounds like a game plan. <laughs>